Okay, so for this problem here, we have um, probability of distribution of Bob eating pizza during the week. And he either eats the pizza zero times a week, once, twice, or three times a week. And these are all the probabilities. If we want to find K, that means all these probabilities have to add up to 1. And so if I just go 0.42 plus 0.26 plus K plus 0 0.04 equal to 1, and I solve K, I end up with, um, I forget what my answer was, but 1 minus 0.42 minus 0.26 minus 0.04, and I get 0, 0 0.28 is my K value here, 0 0.28. All right, so. Next thing it says, find the expected value of pizza eaten during the week. To do expected value, in essence what we do is we go 0 times 42.42. So, oh, use good notation here. I go, the expected value of x is 0 times 0.42 plus 1 times 0.26 plus the 0.28 times 2 and the 3 times 0 0.04. And then we crunch out what the value is. But it's something e we can use our calculator as well. If I go to stat and edit, I enter these values into L1 and L2. These are my outcomes, 0, 1, or 2, or 3 pizzas. And these are my probabilities. When I go then to stat, to calculate one variable statistics, my list L1 is the number of pizzas eaten. My frequency list is the probabilities, or are the probabilities. And then I calculate that, and I have this. And so my expected value is the X bar. And so my expected value is equal to 0 0.94 pizzas. So if I was were to have many, many, many weeks, on average, I would eat 0.94 pizzas per week on average. All right, so now it says, C part, it says, what's the probability of eating two or three pizzas? Two or three. Well, two or three pizzas is simply this probability here. 0 0.28 plus 0 0.04, which I know is 0. 3, 2. That's the probability of eating two or three pizzas. D now says, over six weeks, what's the probability that Bob eats two or three pizzas exactly for the six weeks? Now I've changed the question now. I no longer, I'm looking at this probability distribution for six weeks. And I know I either eat two or three pizzas or I don't probability of eating two or three pizzas is fixed at 0.32, a fixed number of trials, that means I have a binomial situation. And so I'm going to introduce a new scenario called Y belongs to the binomial distribution with six weeks. Probability of success is 0.32. And I want to find the probability of exactly four weeks. So the probability that Y equals four, well, to calculate this, I go to my calculator, I'm going to write distributions, and I'm going to go to binomial PDF because I'm looking for one specific value. And I have six trials, a probability of 0 0.32 is my success, and I'm looking for six successes, or sorry, four successes. And I do that and I get zero. 0 0.0727 to three significant figures. So about 7% of the time will this happen that I eat four weeks of two or three pizzas. E now has expected, expected value, number of weeks that Bob will eat two or three pizzas in the six week. Well, one of the things I can do is I can look at my formula booklet and the formula booklet has this information in it. Here's binomial distribution Expected value is n times p. And so my expected value of y is simply n times 3, 2 
which is 6 times 0 0.32, which is 1.92 pizzas. So this is how many weeks of the six weeks I would expect to eat two or three pizzas. And then finally, my variance, I want to find the variance. This is the topic that is in the new syllabus. This is in the 2014 syllabus. And so the variance then of y is simply 6 times p, which is 0.32, times 1 minus 0.32. And I just use that formula, just multiply that value times 1 minus 0.32. And I get a value of 1.31 to 3 significant figures. So our probability distribution, discrete probability distribution, transfers into a binomial di distribution. With the binomial distribution, I can use my formula booklet to get the formula for expected value and variance.